Hi everyone, today we will be talking about builder design pattern. So without further ado, let's get started. Most common way of categorizing design patterns is by usage of those pattern and it is divided into three main categories, creational, structural and behavioral. Builder belongs to creational design patterns. Creating complex objects can be error prone and that's when the build design pattern kicks in to solve that problem. With large number of fields in a class, it would be a nightmare to provide all combination of constructors if some of them would be optional. It is also very easy to mix up the ordering of the constructor arguments. Builder design pattern takes the responsibility of creating such objects by providing an interface for configuring any combination of object fields. Given the broad usage of this design pattern, engineers have developed some tools for auto-generating builder classes by using the appropriate annotations. One such framework is Lombok. String Builder and String Buffer from Java Lang package are well-known classes of builder design pattern. To better understand why and how we use builder pattern, we will first demonstrate how the following example would look like without it. We have a meal class that can have a multiple dishes in it, like an appetizer, main dish, drink, salad and dessert. We have only shown few examples of constructors, but you can see for yourself that the list is not complete. Now, let's have a look at how the client code would look like. We clearly see that we need to know what kind of constructors does meal class supports and with that create appropriate objects. But if we take a closer look at the main dish with an appetizer object and how it is created and go back to the implementation of meal classes class, we will notice that we have mixed up main dish and appetizer argument which is a common mistake when creating complex objects. Let's have a look at the example demonstrating the usage of a builder pattern. We have a client that wants to order a meal with specific dishes. That's when the builder kicks in and starts preparing the meal. Client wants main dish, an appetizer and then a drink in his meal. Once the meal is being prepared, client can just start consuming it. Now, let's go to the implementation of this example. All of the meal and builder code is placed in a single class where builder is an inner static class. They both have same class fields. Meal will have a private constructor which receives an object of builder type. Apart from the constructor, it will also have a static method for getting an instance of the builder class. Builder will have methods to configure different parts of the meal and all those methods will return the current instance of the builder which allows chaining of builder method calls. Last thing is the build method that actually creates a meal object which we previously configured through the builder class. Looking at the client code we kinda already had, we see that this is, this is much cleaner and less error prone while accomplish the same thing. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it and you would like to see more content of this type, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and we will try to respond as soon as possible. Till next time, goodbye.